A world with too much sun becomes a world with too much water. Under our rapidly aging sun, non-flooded cities are also affected. Airplanes strain to take off in the baking heat. Their wheels remain on the ground longer than they would at normal, cooler temperatures. And because warm air is thinner than cold air, the molecules are more active and further apart. To create the same amount of lift in warmer weather, jets have to travel faster. But the thin air robs their engines of power, making it harder to produce thrust. Jets strain to lift off, but... the heat could produce disastrous consequences. It's not the only system that's overwhelmed. Steel expands when heated. For every 40 degrees, the temperature climbs. A mile of steel expands by as much as 16 inches. And when it does, some railroad tracks buckle. Trains stop running. Cities grind to a halt. And the heat isn't letting up. Crippled by overuse, air conditioners stop working. At 130 degrees, the power grid can't handle the load. Overheated cities struggle to keep the power coming. Around the world, people are overwhelmed by the intense heat. We release extra heat by increasing blood flow to our skin. That's why it turns red when we're overheated. The hot blood is cooled as our sweat evaporates. But when the temperature outside is above 98.6 degrees, it's harder to cool down our body temperature starts to climb and our brains can't cope. If our bodies get just six or seven degrees hotter than normal for an extended period of time, we can suffer permanent injury or death. Regular temperatures of 130 degrees are hard for us to handle. Several years ago, excessive heat killed more than 500 people in Chicago. During a five-day stretch, temperatures reached as high as 106 degrees. But this heat wave is permanent. A brighter sun has shattered our world. And soon, the planet will look like a total stranger.